land and with howtorecord101.com. In this video, we will discuss trims and pre-gains and how to set up new inputs on an audio mixer. The trim is the first place and the most important place we calibrate the audio signal. This preamp sets the input level for the channel. It is important to set the input volume as loud as we can without clipping. Clipping is when we reach the ceiling of the channel preamp's capability. It is usually shown by a red clip light. We also want to make sure we have enough room above the signal to prevent a sudden burst from clipping the input after we start. This extra room is called headroom. Before we set up a channel, mute the channel and turn the channel trim all the way down to the left or counterclockwise. Also move the channel output fader all the way down or off. Next, put the master output on nominal or zero. Now plug in the new input. Make sure that you have an active source signal coming to the mixer. If the microphone needs phantom power, turn phantom power on for the channel. If it is a vocal or instrument, sing or play at the volume that the vocal or instrument will be used. Unmute the channel and slowly move the channel output fader to nominal or zero. Continue to have the person play or sing as you slowly turn the trim or pregain clockwise or to the right. As you do this, you are adjusting the preamp and calibrating the input signal. You should slowly see the input increase until you optimize the input level. Your mixer may have an LED meter that shows each channel input or green or red lights that show the input volume. On most boards, you can press the solo button or PFL button on the channel to see the input volume displayed on the main output meters. All of these are great tools to help you see the input volume as you adjust it using the trim or pregame. Remember, you never want to clip any channel as you use the mixer. Give yourself enough room to prevent extra bursts of sound from clipping. After you have initially set up the input, only use the trim sparingly during the recording or performance to correct for clipping. After you set up an input, use the output faders to adjust your mix. Setting the trims or pregains correctly is important to maintain a clean and clear sound. For more videos, you can check us out at howtorecord101.com. Hi, I'm Landon Grace. Thanks for watching.